I heard there were some ghosts here. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ah! Oh no, no, no. Oh, my coat. No. Where's the disc? Oh, my Never leave the hole without it. See those DVDs down there? That was me. I did those. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, that guy didn't see me whatsoever. Uh, I should probably say, uh, hi, my name is uh, David, and I'm a ghost. So, some of you may be thinking how I got here. Well, I started working at a fast food restaurant when I was around 16. Uh, one day, while I was at the register, this guy came up to the register and said, Give me the money. And I was like, all right, man. So I tried to open the register, and for some awful reason, the register wouldn't open. I kept trying and trying to open the dang thing, but it would not cooperate. So about after a minute of basically abusing the cash register, the guy basically just uh, got overwhelmed with stress, and he eventually ended my life. That's how this little fella got there. But, yo, I have a, I have a real treat for you today. I want to introduce you to my, my ghost friend. Uh, I, I actually don't know what his name is. Do you, you want to introduce yourself, buddy? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 shut up. Uh, he, he can't speak. Can you put subtitles over that? Do you know what he's saying? Well, just do what you think he's saying, all right? But, uh... You, you want to sing a song for us, bud? You want to show me? Ah! Yes, watch. Ah! I'm doing a game. Ah! I love that. It's, ah! That's really good. Ah! Okay, so, uh, you want to tell them how you died? Because we're documenting how they died, right? Like, okay, how did you die? Tell, tell, tell that cameraman. Look at, look at the camera. Ah! 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 It's, it's tragic. It's really traumatized. Ah! 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 How I died, it was a strange sequence of events because uh, my father, my dear, dear father, he said to me, hey, hey there, with, with great enthusiasm, he said, hey there, sport. You know, we don't, we don't really, uh, we don't really talk much, you know, we don't really uh, do anything, you know, father and son, you know, because I wasn't really into sports or anything like that, you know, so we couldn't relate on much. So he's just over here, just you now putting my hand on, his hand on my shoulder, just... Mm. Gee, son, you know what would be good, good for us, uh, father and son? And I said, what, Dad? Enlighten me. And he goes, 
Let's go fishing. Take the old uh, boat out for a spin. I said, Dad, I don't think that's how that works. And he, he just patted my, my shoulder and said, that's the spirit. Little did he know that I would be a spirit. Shortly after, he, uh, he turned his back for a minute to uh, grab something out of his cooler after we were setting sail on the lake. And I didn't know how to swim. So, some of you idiots out there might be wondering what we do in purgatory. Well, the answer is pretty simple. We, we haunt people. Yeah, that, that's what we do. We, we haunt people. What else would we do? I mean, there's really not a reason to it. We just do it because it's, it's fun, really. Come with me. I'm going to give you an example. You see this girl right there? That there is Kayla. I went on a date with her once when I was alive, and uh, one thing led to another. And the day previously, I learned a tongue trick that I can do while I'm kissing. And from that moment, she went around calling me tongue tickler. And this is how it's done. All right, step one, you gotta start by rotating small objects, possibly stuff that they probably won't uh, look at just to create a sense of a scarier atmosphere. So I'm just rotating this apple right now. I'm putting them all in different directions. Look, she, look at this dumb broad. She, she doesn't even notice. Step two, we, we, we're gonna ruffle these leaves to make it look like a small breeze is blowing through them. Ready? So first start up with the breeze. She's not sure what's happening. Oh, we're gonna get more intense. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. And now, Mr. Tongue Tickler is about to get his revenge. <laughs> now that's what I call a haunting. Let's see what they're up to downstairs. Come on. Gabby, you need to go Something crazy just happened. It flew off by itself. Windows were closed. Dog was out of the room. Flew off and shattered. Wait, you broke my glass? I didn't. Whatever th knocked over your glass did. What else could have knocked over the glass aside from you? All our windows are closed. I don't know. I mean, this house is pretty old. You never know what could be in here. Oh, we got this house a year ago. We got it a year ago, but that's besides the point. You need to go up there. Something is up there. No, I Expand don't need to. Expand your mind. I don't need to go up there. You need to go up there and clean it up. No. I'm not moving! I'm not moving! I'm not going up there! Yeah, you're going up there and... I, uh, that's the end of it! Watch this, sisters. Watch this. It's not supposed to do that. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Uh, we only haunt people that have done wrong to us when we were living. So remember that one guy from earlier that I was haunting? Uh, the guy with the, uh, with the disc? Well, there was a reason I was haunting him. What the hell is this? A deformed gingerbread man? Jesus Christ. Hold on! What's up, man? Can I help you? I'm, uh, I'm Frank. I go to your high school, you know? Frank, like a hot dog Frank? Um, more like Frank Reynolds, you know? Sure. Anyway, point is, uh, I was in the neighborhood and I was like, well, I see your car. I know this guy, you know? Just want to say, what's up, man? Uh, nothing much. That's cool. Um, <laughs> hey, are you, uh, you make eggs? Uh, no, I do not think so. Oh my god! Ah, get it! No. You're a f***ing idiot! No. You're a f***ing idiot! You f***er! No. You're gonna f***ing land or wherever the f*** you come from, you f***ing idiot! F oh, so, this one, this one has a, this one has a story, so. There was this, there's this one kid, there's this one kid I went to, to, um, elementary school with and he in his own way haunted me throughout my actual life and, and, and that was because he was unbelievably intolerably 
outrageously just irritating, you know, got under your skin. So I took that phrase of getting under someone's skin to a whole new level, you know? I mean, I'm not talking possession, but... Oh, man. The things I do to make that man regret everything he's ever done in his life. Making things go bump in the night. You know, everybody's asleep. Right? Like, everybody's asleep. No, no, no. Everybody's asleep, and then just something happens. That is the best. Making move, overrated. But a simple bump makes all the difference. All right, enough about that. Well, you've uh, already seen enough about what happens when we try to interact with the living, but what happens when they try to interact with us? Welcome guys to another episode of Paranormal Visits. My name is Steven and today we will be investigating the location of a previous haunting from my friend Frank that just told me about this haunting that he just experienced. And we're gonna get to the bottom of it today. Um, he doesn't really know who could be haunting him. He doesn't really know the substance. Doesn't know any, uh, doesn't have any like context, but he did experience. He told me that he was watching TV and he heard a noise in this very room came over to it, and then nothing in here. But then, right behind him, his Blu-ray collection just started flailing. They just started going up the shelf. Then he experienced a door slam right behind them. No one was there, just a straight up door slam. But there was probably something here. So we're gonna get to the bottom of it today on Paranormal Visits. Something plain and simple. They're looking in all the wrong places. They're looking for all the wrong things. So today, guys, I have my laptop and I have my EMP right here. So we're gonna get to the bottom of this. All right, so probably, we're probably gonna have to turn the lights off, guys. Let's do that real quick. Oh, ghostly spirit, if you are here with us, please give us a sign. It, it, may, it may just take a couple seconds, guys. It, these haunts never, never really come out really that, you know, start out really well. Are you with us? Uh, is there anyone else here? Are you an ancient being? I'm getting no reading. I'm getting no readings, guys. Not even, not even from the, uh, not even from the EMP here. Oh, did you hear that? Guys, did you hear that? That could be something, guys. I'll, that could be something. I, I didn't get anything on here, but that could be something. That may have been a sign, guys. That, that's like, that may have been a sign. All right, guys, we got some good stuff today, guys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this later on. I'm going to figure out what's been going on in this house. This has been Paranormal Visits. At, like I said before, drop a like, subscribe. All I'm saying is we're here and y'all are looking in some terrible places. So uh, this is the local mall. I used to hang out here quite a bit. You know, I, I, I don't always feel my best on some days, you know. There's part of me that misses interacting with the with the living world, you know. You want to see something special? See this lake or pond? This is where my great grandmother drowned. And I come here and I talk to her sometimes. She's actually uh, really nice, and she said she was proud of me when I was a uh, when I was alive. If you listen carefully, you can hear her last words. I don't think she wants to come out. She's kind of nervous, but it, just listen closely. Tragic. It's really tragic. This is my car. I used to drive it. Her name was uh, Shirley Temple. You know, like the drink. Man, I miss Shirley. Oh my God. Help, help. I'm a ghost, I can't move, I'm stuck. They can't see me. Don't worry, it's fine. If, oh, if I had to pick a thing that I miss the most about being alive, honestly, it's, it's, it's the everyday activity. Pissing and shitting. I can't clean up after my dog. <laughs> Don't see me. 
It's a floating bag. You see it? It's a floating bag! I miss my mom and dad. I don't know how they're... How they're feeling right now. I think I'm still their only child. How are you drinking that? It's fucking empty, dude. It's the bridge! I used to always come up here with my friends. We'd throw like uh, pop rocks on, on top of the cars. And you know, if we were lucky, they'd fall into the hood and into someone's mouth. As you can see, life sucks, even after it's over. Well, that's pretty much who we are, what we do. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you later, guys. special item. The crystal. The crystal? Where can we find it? There's only one person on the planet who knows its current location. Alec Treble. Let's find this Alec Treble and haunt him. Good one. Let's do that.